Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a quick and effective arm workout using only dumbbells. I am going to be using fives and sevens, but as always, please make sure that you use a weight that you can move adequately between seven to 10 reps. You are also going to need a yoga mat or some sort of cushioning beneath your feet. And today we are going to do four exercises for only two rounds. And the timing as per usual will be 40 seconds of work with 20 seconds of rest. You already know what's coming. <laughs> Make sure that you warm up and activate before this workout. And if you're ready, let's get to it. Our first exercise is going to be a dumbbell hammer curl. We are going to be here for 40 seconds. I'm using sevens. Use what feels good for you. Shoulders down and back, tailbone tucked, feet are hip width apart. One, let's go, 40 seconds. So we are taking our time. So we're not letting the weight dictate the speed of our arms going down. This is really important because people fly through this and their arms are swinging, there's no swing. It's all control, all tension, really asking that muscle to work. So curl, curl, amazing. Keeping the shoulders pulled away from those ears. We have less than 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Amazing, I'm gonna drop one of these sevens. I'm gonna use a seven today, but you can go heavier. We're gonna go into a tricep overhead extension. Our elbows are kind of hugging our head, so we're not glued to the head. We're just really close. Tailbone is tucked again. All we're doing is pulling up, coming back down for 40 seconds. Ready? Let's do this. So we're hitting the tricep, the back of that arm, those arms. So again, we're always thinking about keeping that torso locked. I call this your powerhouse stability through that mid section and it's just the arms the elbow is working here the most beautiful we have 15 seconds left again you can go heavier with this if you want because you are using both hands you can get a heavier weight or you can stay with a light weight two and one amazing Third exercise, we are gonna go into forward press. So you're gonna feel this a lot through the biceps and a little bit through the triceps, which is why we started with the biceps and tries. All we're gonna do is press forward for 40 seconds, two, one, tailbone tuck, let's go. So I like to say that you're hitting a target. Imagine always hitting a bullseye. And then again, breathing through this. So exhaling as you hit that target. Beautiful, good. So out, in, out, in. We have less than 20 seconds left. Whoo! My biceps are already fired up here. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Last one, we are gonna do steering wheel. So I'm gonna switch my weight. I'm gonna go for something lighter. I'm choosing a five. All I'm doing is rotating here. So we are hitting shoulders, chest, while still working those arms. Are you ready? Four, three, two, arm is directly out in front of you. And all you're doing is you are rotating the weight. So delivering the, the heaviest points, top and bottom. Ooh, I'm gonna turn sideways again. Always maintaining strong form. Feet are always shoulder width, hip to shoulder width apart. Amazing work. Almost there. Ooh, you're gonna feel those triceps, those biceps, all of the things that we worked. Five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Okay, 20 seconds of rest. We're gonna go back into those hammer curls. So I'm gonna turn sideways for this one just for you to, again, see my form. Shake out those arms, pick up the weights whenever you're ready. We have five, four, shoulders down, tailbone tucked. One, 
Round two, let's go. So curl and down. So your biceps, this muscle right here, you want to imagine that it's glued to your side body. Or imagine that you have a piece of fruit that you're trying to squish and keep there while you are taking the arms up and down. So we have this tension. Again, we're not swinging, we're not throwing the arms, we're really asking those biceps to work here. We have 10 seconds left, let's go. Use that breath. Three, two, and one. Amazing, okay. I'm actually gonna go a little bit heavier because I feel like the seven is too light for my overhead tricep extensions. I'm gonna grab a 10. You obviously use what feels good for you, whatever you have. My elbows are coming in. I'm hugging my head, quote unquote. Feet are glued to the ground, let's go. So I always say this, if you watch my videos, I always talk about this imaginary puppet master. Someone's pulling the weight down and you're pulling it back up. They're pulling it down and you're fighting that gravity. You're pulling it back up, keeping the elbows tucked close to the head. So today, like I said, quick, effective arms, only arms, a little bit of the shoulders, a little bit of the chest. It doesn't have to be lengthy. It doesn't have to be excruciating to be effective. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Okay, we're going to go into those forward presses, okay? I'm going to go with a seven <laughs> to challenge my arms. Again, do what feels good for you. Movement is supposed to make you feel good. Are you ready? Three, two, 40 seconds. Here we go. Again, using that breath. I know I talk through a lot of this, but this is only to help you understand how you can make your movements easier with breath. Good, so you're punching forward. Your arms are full, so it's not like this. We're not rushing, we're not keeping it short. We're extending those arms, hitting that target. Smash that target. We have five, four, biceps on fire, two, and one. Amazing. One more exercise and we are done. Literally just like that. If you want to make this a little bit more challenging, you can add in the third round. Ooh, <laughs> my arms are on fire. Okay, we're going to go into those steering wheels. Are you ready? Four, three, two, tailbone tuck, shoulders down. Rotate here. Okay, so in anything and everything I do, I always say to myself, KM, hey, can you do this? Can you be stronger than what your body is telling you? Sometimes the answer is yes. Sometimes the answer is no. But I always try to be strong in my mind first before giving up in my body. Let's go. Let's get it. We are so much stronger than we think. Let's go. Almost there. Almost there. Woo! Arms on fire. Three, two, three. One, and we are done. My arms, just from two rounds, my arms are literally like shaking a little bit, but in the best way, I challenge my muscles, I challenge my mind, I move my body, and I feel amazing. You already know, if you feel amazing too, and you love this workout, it would mean a lot for you to subscribe, like, follow, and even share this with a friend too, and I will see you soon. Bye.